With the launch of Copilot for Microsoft 365, you might be wondering what data the tool can access and whether your own data is safe. In this video, we want to give an overview of how Copilot for Microsoft 365 accesses data. Simply put, Copilot has access to the same information as you. This information is called Graph by Microsoft. Graph has access to your emails, meetings, chats, calendars and contacts. So when you ask a question to Copilot from a Microsoft 365 app, Copilot will go to this graph to retrieve information associated with this prompt. This is then sent to a large language model and Copilot will receive a response from this. This answer goes through graph again to adjust the answer to the information and after this, the answer will come to your screen. So the graph contains data from you alone, data you share with others, and data that has been shared with you. Data of others not shared with you is not accessible. Here are some examples. Copilot can access your OneDrive files and OneDrive files shared with you by others. Other people's files that are not shared with you are not accessible. In Outlook, Copilot does not have access to the colleague's calendar, as this is in another graph. When the calendar is shared with you, Copilot does have access. In Teams, Copilot has access to the information of the teams you are in. These are files or conversations. If there is a private channel in a particular team that you are not in, Copilot does not have access. If you are worried about the information others can see, it is a good idea to go to your OneDrive, which can be accessed from Teams. There, you can go to the Shared section and check the Shared by You list. Folders and files you have shared are also marked as such in the various folders. If you own a team, it is also a good idea to check the member list of these teams and see if these people should still have access to the information.